Hey guys, I have returned yet again. Okay then, and like I said before, I saved it to a different file, so we're gonna see what you guys think about that uh, chum putt challenge thing I issued earlier. And now, we're gonna go to my, another one of my least favorite levels, Goo Lagoon. And yes, I did mean least favorite, because let's face it, this level kind of sucks. Not that there was a lot of potential for Goo Lagoon anyway. Goo Lagoon, the sand, the surf, there is nothing like being at the ocean, except being under the ocean. And that was the fastest costume change SpongeBob has ever done. Alright. So... As you notice, there's money. <laughs> and yes, that is relevant. You have to buy some stuff here. This level's great because it, you know, does a lot for the plot of the game, but it's not a very fun level. You know, just as a level. So, let's see what we have to do. Umbrella jumping, top of the juice stand, light up the lighthouse, the lighthouse shows the way, on the pier, defeat Larry in a karate mat. Oh, he's going down. Uh, to the crow's nest, catch 30 jellyfish, gather 250 doubloons, thank Larry for the bus ticket, and find the Dutchman's treasure. Okay, I think we can do all of those without having to jump to another level, that is. I think that's possible. I don't remember for sure, but I think we can. Okay. And it occurs to me that being a mermaid man in this level was probably not a good idea. Because sadly, mermaid does, Iron Man does not have a lot of practical application in the game. Except maybe to defeat these guys here. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? Yes! One hit, one, one shot, one kill. Just like the simulations. Alright. Also, what kind of beach just has tires on the floor? Like, is that just a common feature of beaches that I don't know about? I thought I told you to slow down. What? Arnold? Arnold! Okay, I was I forgot those guys speak to you if you don't kill them first. So let's snipe this guy. Tires in the way. Get off the beach, run. How about you get off the beach? In fact, he's runtier than I am. See how small he was? Puny little. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. So all this money I'm collecting is for that guy over there with the beard. Hmm. Try to decide what kind of what what. Bleh. I'm trying to decide what we should do first. Should we go after that first? No, you know what? Let's find Larry first. We have to thank him kindly for giving us those tickets. So... Gotta find Larry. Gotta find Larry. The guy who eats bees and dogs. Oh, is he invincible up there? Excuse me, but can I sit on your lifeguard stand? Of course not. Now beat it, you little wimp. Little wimp? I'm not the one who dies from one hit. Invasion of the... Lifeguards. <laughs> Waterfall to the crotch means he's going down. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe it was a good idea that I was Mermaid Man. So I can just cheese it. Another one? How many Bay Watchers are there? Oh, jeez. How many Bay Watchers are there? And it's weird, because this was before 
the SpongeBob movie where David Hasselhoff was. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh, well, I did see Larry, so that's good. We know we're getting close. Camera. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, that's the last one. Whew. That's good. Unfortunately, I'm currently SpongeBob Underpants, which is not so good. Because as long as I am SpongeBob Underpants, one hit means I will die. Can I get up there? Can I get on the umbrella? I know there's a way up there, but I do I get up there? I guess I have to use the roof blower to get up. Whatever. All right, let's talk to Larry. Gee, Larry, this place is ocean swell. Thanks again for loaning me your extra ticket. Well, 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 look what the tide washed in. It's that dude who catches jellyfish. Try to keep your distance, okay? I don't want my friends to see us talking together. Oh, sure thing, Larry. But can you tell me where you got that belt? It's got a really nifty letter tile on it. You mean my championship belt? I won this at the Goolagoon Tough Man Tournament. Now stop talking with me, okay? People might see us. What if I just sing to you? Then maybe no one will notice. Oh, there once were two fellows who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. That's it. I'm out of here, dude. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the lighthouse. Wow, Larry's an asshole. <laughs> Like, really, he, he is an asshole. Oh, don't talk to me. I don't want my friends to see us together. Like, wow. Okay. Tell us how you really feel, Larry. Man, that was, that was so unnecessarily cruel to SpongeBob. Like, wow. I guess Larry has become a lot more likable in the new seasons. Things like living like Larry. Fuck you, asshole. Well. Alright, let's go get the jellyfishing outfit so I can, uh. You know. Catch some jellies. How many do I have to catch again? 30. Alright. Let's hurry up and catch 30 jellyfish so I don't have to be this costume anymore. Because it looks like the one this level focuses on the most is the reef blower. And keep in mind, I never got to this stage as a kid. So this is only like my second or third time playing this stage. So I don't remember all that much about it. And I have 200 sand dollars. I don't remember how much the thing I need costs, but I th think the way it works is when you're done with all the money. Okay, guess that's not gonna work. There's probably another way you're supposed to get up there. I'll we'll figure it out later. But um, I don't remember how exactly it works, but I think you need all of the money you can possibly get, like 250 or something like that. Alright, uh, let's go stock down Larry. <laughs> We're coming, Larry. You can't hide from me. SpongeBob's persistent. Persistent as heck. Now, the lighthouse... Okay. Now, the lighthouse is kind of a scary level. Level. I'm talking about it like it's a whole other part of the game. No, it's a scary part of the level. There's all this lightning and thunder. But that's not the scary part. No, the scary part is how much you'll die if you're not ready for it. Because some of the platforming is difficult, to say the least. Not to mention they do stuff like put fire. I didn't even remember that. We... No, actually, maybe I should kill myself, so I'll get my pants back. 
No, I think I'll do that real quick. That sounds like a good idea. Double death. Wow, so I killed myself both by falling into the water and by getting burned. Good thing this game doesn't keep track of lives. Because <laughs> if it did, that would probably be grounds for a game over, I'd think. Come here, coin. <sighs> So, I've had, so like I said, I had a PS2 for a while, and I have this on GameCube, so you might be wondering, well when the heck did you get a GameCube? And the answer to that is actually fairly recently. You see, um, actually no, I shouldn't say that because I got my GameCube right at the end of the GameCube's lifespan, like, you know, about a year before the Wii came out. And I saved up to get it so I could play one game, Smash Brothers, on it. Unfortunately, I no longer have that game because a certain somebody scratched it up. And in my infinite stupidity of youth, I threw it away instead of holding on to it. And now copies of Melee go for such an exorbitant amount of money that I'd have to be out of my mind to pay. Oh look, I found, uh, clams. I wonder if that one, I wonder if Junior's in there. You know, from the one where Spongebob and Patrick babysat clams? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Those bug eyes, though. I knew a girl in high school whose eyes bugged out like that. Like, I'm not even joking. Her eyes, like, stuck out the side of her head pretty far. She was kind of mean sometimes. I don't think it was her intent, but sometimes she just kind of was. And according to one, according to multiple people, she liked me, but I, I didn't like her, and she was not happy about that. I don't know. It was weird. Things are weird sometimes, you know. And man, that fish dude is really freaking me out. How is he in so many windows at once? Would it kill them to, you know, model a second fish? I don't know. We go up, up, and away. Really, I missed? Okay. That's better. But yeah, I got it to play Smash Brothers. And then I also got Mario Kart. And... What else did I have? What, what, what were my classic GameCube games? My brother got Finding Nemo, which, lol, that game was awful. And we got rid of that. Um, let's go up. And I was also missing... Missing, no. I also had... I had like three GameCube games. Why can't I remember what the last one was? Well, I can tell you one of the games I had was that uh, Legend of Zelda collection. You know, the one where they p ported all the N64 ones to GameCube? I had that, and this asshole at my middle school stole it under the guise of borrowing it. You know, he just straight up stole it. I was like, really? For real? If I ever find that guy, I'm going to make him give me it back, or make him pay for a new copy. Which, you know, that would suck to be him, because they go for a lot of money. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the economy on, you know, those games, but... Suffice it to say, they are not cheap. <laughs> I looked into getting a new copy, and even one that didn't work was going to be, like, $70 or so. Oh, and somehow giving that letter tile caused the wooden planks down there to fall apart. Okay. Oh, I see Larry over there being all creepy. So how do we get to him? Um, easy. We platform to him.
So luckily we'll be done with Larry the dog and jellyfish eater this episode, I think. Well, except for when he gets captured by the Dutchman. Spoilers. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Ooh. Yeah. Remember when I said you're gonna die a lot? <clears throat> the collision detection on those isn't the best. No, the... Sometimes you think you have more room than you do because of the way they expand, but yeah. It's annoying. I'll have to be more careful to not repeat that same mistake. But yeah, he get I'm pretty sure he's one of the ones that gets kidnapped by the Duchman. There he is. You again? I already told you I'm not giving up my championship belt. Now stop asking me about it, dude. I can see that my song needs another verse. Oh, there once were two fellows who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. It had a big letter that would open a treasure. But the big guy who wore it did not want to remove it. Tartar sauce. Where can I go to get away from you? Maybe I can hide at that old shipwreck. All right, he's going to the shipwreck, but we're not done because there's another letter tile over there. Let's go get it. Of course, if you do this right, you don't even need to glide or crouch jump. You can just jump. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's see. To-do list. Uh, top of the lighthouse. Lighthouse shows the way. On the pier. Blah, blah, blah. 30 jellyfish. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Alright. Where does this jellyfish take me? Does he take me to the entrance? Yes, he does. So I have to wonder why they bothered programming this jellyfish. Oh, he brings me down here, I guess. Okay. I was gonna say, I wonder why they bothered programming him if it'd probably be faster to just die, in all honesty. But now I kind of see the point. All right, let's go. And a bench that does nothing. Sweet. Okay, so he's going to the pier. So let's go follow him to the pier and catch some more jellyfish along the way. This is my really awful catching jellyfish song, if you couldn't tell. Okay. Oh, I see a jelly. Come here, jelly. Come here, jelly. Come here, jelly. I don't know why SpongeBob needs to catch you. Maybe he wants to eat you are later, you but I need you. Trouble? No, but you are. Dick. And we are up to 18 jellies. Oops, I scared him. Hold on a second. Yeah, okay, so that's the pier over there where that old guy is. The reason we need the money is so we can hey, go on the pier. No running on the beach. It'll do two things. Number one, we'll be able to meet up with Larry, which for some reason has one of my letter tiles. You know, that's weird. Like, I thought about that earlier when Patrick had one, but how does, like, how did they get a hold of him? Like, Are you looking for trouble? Did somebody just leave them laying around or something? Like... You know, why Why can Patrick and Larry just get the tiles? So if they didn't get them, where would those letter tiles be? Would they just be laying around? I don't know. It's, it's confusing, dude. It's confusing. Alright, let's go talk. Let me replace my pants and then we'll talk to this guy. Hey, old timer. What's with this pier? This pier handles all the shipping from Bikini Bottom. We can handle orders of any type or size. Our next shipment is going to be a huge load of magic bottles. Seems like everyone's trying to bottle up that Dutchman on account of his curse. 
Do you want to order one? Do you mean I can get one here? Sure, no problem at all. It costs only 300 sand dollars, tax included. Just let me know when you're ready to pay for your order. 300 sand up? dollars. Oh, I'm 20 away. Man. 300 sand dollars. I mean, yeah, it's a magic bottle, but 300 sand dollars? That's pricey. Oh, no. I have to deal with these guys again. Excuse me. Oh. No, I don't want to kill him again. <laughs> I already killed you once. Why are you back? Uh, <laughs> fighting sucks in this game. Stop making me fight you. Stop making me fight you. Ugh. Of course there's more. The ride never ends, folks. The ride never ends. Okay. Oh, I forgot there's one more. Well, at the very least, I can get that letter tile and the... 10 of the last 20 sand dollars I need over there. Okay. But first, let's go catch that jelly. There's this one, there's a red one, and a green one. I think there's a pink one. Ow, you piece of shit. I thought there was a pink one over here. Hey, no running on the beach. Oh, look, there's 20 sand dollars, just what I needed. Alright, so we can afford that overpriced magic bottle. Good thing people in Bikini Bottom just leave money on the beach. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Oh, look, there's a changing tent over here. That would have been nice to know about. What? It's connected? I have no one to blame but myself for that. I... Get off the beach, run. How about you shut up? Wow, okay, I had no idea it was connected right there. Yes, now I don't have to be Fisher Pants anymore. Let's go get the, the reef blower. Ugh, I had no idea that that was like that. That's, that's kind of annoying. But really, I mean, you'd think... You would think these guys would learn after a while, right? But I guess not. Oh, well. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that tile up there. Anyways, what I was saying is, I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get the rest of the tiles. The rest of the tiles. I'm gonna get the tower. Bleh! The tile up there. We're gonna go back to the pier. And then we're gonna save, and that's gonna be all for today. Does that sound good, you guys? Well, too bad, because I can't hear you even if you think it's not good. So, whatever. That's what's gonna happen. That's. Okay, this is the P. I'm curious what the P was. Top of the juice stand. Oh, okay. That, that that's, uh, makes reasonable sense. Okay. Oh, I still can't get on top of those stupid umbrellas. Alright, so... We... So... Let's go pay for our bottle. To order that magic bottle, please. And here's the sand dollars to pay for it. Great! Your order will be on the next boat, which should arrive any time now that the lighthouse beacon is working again. I'll go open the gate. You better get on the end of the pier. You might miss the boat. All right. That's where we will stop for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And we will continue our adventures in 
Dragoon. Next time. Bye bye.